Hi, my name is Tom Mavro and welcome to the Cut It TV training channel. The channel has been set up to provide easy to follow training tutorials in today's key media production software. Cut It itself is a UK based training company with over 15 years experience providing hands on training in media production. If you would like any further information about our training services, please visit our website at www.cut-it.tv or check us out on social media. I hope you enjoy the following tutorial. There is also an alternative way of applying the default video transition for the project and that is to either highlight an edit by clicking on it with your mouse or put your playhead over an edit and then go to the sequence menu apply video transition or use the keyboard shortcut for that which is command D that will then apply the default video transition to the selected edit and this will also work over multiple edits if I select a number of clips and then choose sequence apply video transition that will put the default transition on the edits between all of the selected clips to delete a transition I just select it and hit backspace it may be that at some point you want to apply the default video transition and the default audio transition to a number of selected edits again in this case you select the edits first you then go to the sequence menu and this time you pick apply default transitions to selection and this then puts a video and an audio default transition on all of the edits between the highlighted clips. 